Benjamin and Gary. Welcome. Well, first of all, Benjamin, welcome to Northern Ireland. Thank you very much. Gary. Yeah, it's good to see you again, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Great to be here. Great to be here. Of course, it is. Yeah. Look, we were at the factory. Benjamin knows the score. We were having a bit of fun. We were chatting. We we threw it out there. If you are brave, bring the big moors to Ireland. If the big moors work in Ireland regarding mowing, because that's a big unit, they will work anywhere. And sip delivered guy, which you probably are panicking about every night, wondering what you're going to do with them in a few months time. That has passed through my mind, all right, yeah. How does it feel to see them sitting here? That's fantastic. It's it just it's great to see what they're capable of, and to show Irish farmers and contractors what they're capable of. Of course, and it is a big unit, Benjamin. Like I mean, you, you I mean you designed it to be the world's biggest. Yeah, that was the purpose. So this was also the reason to show what are people in SIP and the company SIP capable of. So we are heading here and standing in Ireland in front of the biggest mower in the world. Yes, and we have a 7R350 on it. And that for here is considered a bit of a monster of a tractor. And it ain't when it's on those mowers. <laughs> those <laughs> mowers really do tame that tractor. And we've seen ourselves the difference between boost and non-boost was like two to three kilometers an hour. Yeah. And that's only 40 extra horse at that top end. Makes a massive difference. Whilst these are fantastic and I have loved learning how to use them and I'm going to take my hat off to sip. You sent them over and you said, guys, you know what you are doing. Hook them on and go. They are big. Watch the telegraph poles. And we did. We took those to the field. We mowed and we managed without any assistance. And then Benjamin came and told us a few things we weren't doing, which helped. So like, they're big, but when Kane and I managed to do that, does that not kind of translate that back to, they're still relatively simple? This is the whole principle and one of the values of the company. So to build robust and simple machines to use. Absolutely, and I have to take that like as well. However, at Grassman HQ, it's always about farmer gas silage. Right, and a few years ago when we were invited to take a look at a writer merger, which which SIP work alongside Thomas Writer. I mean, it's it's, it's on the pickup. We, we we know a little bit about that. That's correct. Farmer Garas words were that was the best bit of kit you guys have ever brought here on this farm. He has said that again now for the second time, <laughs> and that's because of that SIP Air 900T. The dairy farmer that Gareth is, he wants to lift, he thinks lifting the silage up and moving it is far better. From driving the harvester, I can tell you it was a lovely roll. What makes that the best merger? Because I'm going to tip my hat and say I think it is. At the moment, other companies will come in, I'm sure. For sure. Uh, the harvester, as you mentioned, is the part of the pickup technology uh, combined with the writer. Uh, so that makes the small diameter of the rotor, the combination with the top finger rotor, which works in any kind of the conditions. So that's why we brought to the difficult conditions also here uh, as a challenge and also a, as a proof that we show ourselves and to the farmers from Ireland and all over the world that this machine is capable of working in all the kind of conditions. Also that stuff that we are here uh, seeing it. Uh, and then the rest, the whole construction of the machine uh, makes it simplify with the only merger on the market which has a pull type uh, unit, not push type, hydropneumatic suspension, uh, kinematic of the adjustment of the units to the ground is principle of the same as we have on the front mover as s flop type, so it's completely disconnected for the suspension, so it's easy to control how bigger, how big the press to the ground is, uh, and then Anyway, the merger's technology uh, is always to be to pick up the grass clean from the ground without any stones, less ash content in the forage and then just move on the clean side of the, of the field and make the clean swat behind. And granted at this point I haven't had a chance to, to, to drive it uh, myself, which I'm looking forward to getting a chance, but you know, that pick up, the way the tine is shaped, yeah. it's designed to pick the grass up 
It's a small rotor, but it's designed to pick the grass up and any foreign objects are designed to not get picked up. <laughs> you pushed off it the way it, the way it, the way it flexes. It's, it's kind of like the wrong way of it, you know, from conventional thinking, it's like the wrong shape, but it picks the grass yep. up onto the belt. The belt speeds are all adjustable. You can go all to one side, you can do 60s, you can do whatever you want to do. Is that correct? Yes, that, that is completely correct. Ma machine, you can drive with a, with a controller or you can drive with the bus. Uh, the whole advantage then forward of the machine is that it's completely flexible. So as you mentioned, you can do middle SWAT, you join the units together, you do the side SWAT left, right. You can combine the SWATs uh, apart if you want. And also advantage, you can mount also the front unit because we are also building the front units so that you can buy, combine all three units and then you don't drive over the forage uh, again, which is also one of the advantages uh, for I, the clean forage. That's something I'd love to see. Um, Actually, I think that's a very, very clever idea that you're not, you know, you could literally go into a field and if you did your job right, the first thing that puts tires over the grass is the butt rake, mm. <laughs> is the guy in the pit. Because you know what I mean? If you're, if you, if you get that right with a merger, if you're, if you're, depends if you're not tedding it, or if you, I know if you're tedding it, but you know what I mean? And I think that's something that, Farmers are driving this more and more and more. They they don't want the ash content, the dirt or whatever, in the silage anymore. Every farmer, every contractor, just looking for the performance of the machine. The sizes of the fields are uh, measurable. You always have the same sizes or the same capacity, you know. But how you get uh, cows, the quality forage, you know, better quality, better performance of cows also. So you just have to care about the cleaner forage to bring into the stable, into the dish to the cow. When we have the same fields and with a better performance of a cleaner food, then we have then the, the solution here. Yeah, absolutely. The one complaint, if there is a complaint chatting to contractors, it's not big enough. Of course, it's not big enough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, this, uh, this machine was in the development for a couple of years. Last couple of years, we are not merging with this machine to the biggest contractors, but more uh, middle-sized con contractors are also contractors, far big, bigger farmers. But uh, we will see what the future will bring. If demand is for the bigger machines, we will bring it on. I'll read into that as, watch this space, it's common. <laughs> Gary, what's your thoughts? Well, we see a market for it. Some people think it's the future of raking and after seeing it working over the last couple of days, maybe it is. Where do you see the market going for your sales? We've got a really big range of rakes and they're performing very well for us. This is the first nine meter one we've brought over. We're going to demonstrate it, show it around, see what people think. It's performed very well so far. So we think the market's reasonably big and listen to farmers and contractors, it may get bigger. Well, I mean, it's a fair, I think it's a very fair comment to both of these that, you know, the moors really are showing what you can do. They're showing, I mean, I said they are guys making the you know the videos. Just showing a video of it folding out and folding in would be cool. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of thought has went into it, and you know even ourselves. One of the first mistakes I made, and I and, and this is a hands up job, was the first field I went to was a proper side cast. So we're trying a trailed machine on a side cast, and it started to there's a little bit of slippage. The drone will show the tiny bit of a miss. So on the computer screen, once we finally got it changed from Slovenian or whatever to English and we could sort of read it, <laughs> we adjusted the pressures, all done by the cab. Went to the next field with every bit as much of a gradient and it followed through. So my point was machine setup. I was working between the control box. I was complaining in my head, ah, oh, there's no isobus, we need isobus, but no. Once we got our front sensor on the front mower and we run, I wondered what that cable was for and we run it all the way back to the mower and we went out to the field then, we were able to set up that all we actually did was up on a straight bit of mowing was operate the front mower and we could control the rest of the mowers from that which just transformed driving the machine to not complicate it but more work to do mm. to no mm. work to do. <laughs> and that's all about just settings to adjust to your speed and it's no problem. <laughs> exactly. Once, once you have the whole setup done, adjust the navigation system that you go straight line or the line that you have follow. Combination front and rear, communicating with each other, setting the time, the speed of the driving. Then you just basically operate one lever for the whole day or the day of the job. Not in this country, you'll not. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> As you know, there's telegraph poles here. <laughs> then you have a steering wheel. <laughs> <laughs> That's what James Mackay always says, have you not got a steering wheel? But we do need a quite a big front more there now. We, we know we're in a, we're in a 3.4 or can we get away with smaller there? Or is it, do we really need the 3.4, 340? Ah. 340s, all the cutter bars are basically on 340s based. So if you want the combination to come to the 15 meter, uh, we do enough overlap also in the straights with the big tractors or a little bit of driving left and right, uh, it's overlap needed. So that's why theoretically the front mower three meter will, will do, but then you have to go straight. And we were at the factory, Gary, with you and, and your team there a, a few months ago. And, you know, I took a wee walk around just with a GoPro and, and some of the feedback was, well, I think the feedback was extremely positive. I think a lot of people weren't expecting to see what they seen, you know, well organized, not the biggest factory. Of course, it's, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's a company in massive growth doubling its turnover in the last few years with great prospects and projections. And the factory was really well laid out, all these different lines working away, beating stuff together. Very impressive. Do you still think it's impressive, Benjamin? Or Because I know Gary and I did. No, the company is developing, as you said. Uh, it's everything based in the small town in Slovenia, which is Slovenia, a small country, middle of Europe with only two million of people. We are growing, as I said, uh, at the moment we are around two, three, 360, 380 people employed uh, in all the departments and all the machines are built in that company, which you, you visit and you were impressed with. So um, every day we are in all the departments uh, dealing with a lot of different challenges, how to grow, with growth, you get another difficult uh, uh, questions which you have to answer right if you want to succeed in all the departments, all the areas to bring that kind of machines to the customers, not just as a sales and also after after sales and support, you know, to teach the guys how to op really operate good with the machines. What are these little tweaks which makes a lot of difference then on the field, not pressing five buttons and only one button to compare. Yeah, that would help, yeah. And yeah, then the rest. Yeah, because yeah, I had a few issues with pressing the wrong buttons at the wrong time. <laughs> Story <laughs> of my life. But uh, another thing too, the company is pushing on. Yeah. And, you know, I'm really looking forward to the invite to the grand opening of the new visitor centre and all when that comes around. Not right, Gary? You'll be there. You'll Can be we there. leave Cathal at home this time, please? I okay. couldn't listen to any more Landini <laughs> jokes. <laughs> For sure, invitation will come because next year we are celebrating 70 years of the company. So uh, that will be also a big, uh, big celebration with the opening of a new uh, experience center, uh, with the new training centers and uh, with the new offices. Because at the moment uh, we need space also for uh, <laughs> more people in, in this area. That's where we could start off on our journey from. But we'll not say too much about that after the grand opening. You and I, Benjamin, could head off then. Of course. Straight to the boat big set of mowers we've this worked out honestly you know it's stressful going out with something this big and i think a lot of guys would be scared and fear is something that you know holds people back and can encourage people to maybe pass negative judgment but once we get going you know you're you're in the world of technology we know the tractors can deliver with the technology to help guide you for want of a better word we know we can this is there and you know Steering wasn't an issue, you just set up the GPS the way you wanted to go, the tractor took control of that. You're able to look at the moors, I thought it was fantastic, but for me, I think the, the merger over there is probably one of the hot topics at the moment in agriculture and quality of forage. So thanks guys for coming and spending time. We are going to, we are going to do it, we're, we are planning a few tours, we're going to, we're going to get the moors out and about with a couple of different, we, you know, our plan is to try them in a few different tractors. And, and see how we get on so super job thank you and it's fair play to sip because not everybody would just send a product over and say have a go we're confident and i think the quality of the mowing proves that maybe not the lifting but <laughs> the mowing so thank you no thanks very much gareth that's great super job. thank you thank you very much for having us and uh, enjoying playing with the uh, big machines super thank you